Welcome to episode 6 of the Goat Deluxe Amp. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay, on to the next project we're going to wrap up. We've got our Goat Amp. Right? Remember the old Goat Amp? And we have it connected to our speaker dummy load box using the 8 ohm tap of the output transformer. And we have it going to our scope right there. And here's our, our audio generator right there. Here's the scope. So we're going to bring it up slowly and you can watch what happens. So right there we're on about three. Go a little bit higher to start to break up. Right there it breaks up. Which is perfect. That's what we want. But here's something else I want to show you. So we just turn the volume down to zero. Here's the meter that we're going to use. Remember this meter was in the in the amp. So let's bring the volume up again slowly. And it stops right around there on, in the green, which is great. So that's exactly how we're going to use it. The meter itself is wired directly to the output transformer, so it goes to the same tap as the uh, speaker. So, um, so that's what we're going to use, and um, we're going to mount that right here in this hole, and we're going to wire it. We pull this back. I'm going to wire it right there, and then uh, we'll put a guitar in this thing with a speaker and test it out. So, the uh, after many months, the Goat Amp lives. Nice clean sine wave. Really, really cool. Alright, just to remind you what it looks like. Remember that little couplet thing I built right there? That's most of the tone circuit in there. And I do have it wrapped in tape, insulated tape. There's the filter cap, transformer, all that good stuff. Alright, so let's get that meter mounted in there and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're working on mounting the uh, goat amp in the case, and you'll see I've got the uh, speaker in place right there. And I've just started the work to brace up this case and drop in the amp like so. Um, a lot of work to do yet here. I've got to figure out a few things here, but generally, if you look down in here, there's plenty of clearance, plenty of airflow. I'll put some kind of screen here so that the airflow stays constant, or I'll probably drill some holes here um, to keep the airflow going. But um, everything is relatively clean in there. Nothing's touching anything. And we've got plenty of room. So um, I'm going to continue building on the case. This power cord is going to come out of a hole in the side here. And uh, when done, let me see if I can tuck this power cord in here real quick. Like that. When you're done, just kind of close it. And you've got yourself an amp. Okay. So and there's a handle on that side right there. I'm not going to pick it up, obviously, because it's not screwed in. You'll see I've used um, I've used some screws here to hold the uh, hold the amp up, and um, I think it's going to look good. I'm probably going to have to put some trim around here to make this look better when I'm done. But uh, you know we've got the beginning, which is good. We've got a place. We've got holes to mount it to to the case, and um, we're going to make some progress. So. I'll come back and show you when I get a little further ahead. Be back. By the way, I forgot to mention I do have the meter wired in. The meter is secured and I do have it connected to the output transformer. I still need to run a wire from the output transformer out to the speaker. Okay? Be back. Okay, here we are with our, uh, our goat amp. Here's our update. Here's the cabinet. Let's open her up and see what we got. Open up the cabinet. And you'll see we have our amplifier mounted in here. Very, very solid. You gotta remember this case is not so strong, so I had to reinforce it. I've got our speaker mounted. I've got a baffle, and I'm gonna actually put um, some uh, foam uh, like padding in there just to make it sound a little bit better. There's the cord storage. And there's the logo. It's the goat amp. So next thing to do is let this glue dry. I've got some cleats in here that are drying, which are holding everything in place. Um, I'm going to put some nice knobs on it, and then we're going to give it a test run. But for the most part, this thing is done. All right, And it all closes up. You can carry it. 
from a ventilation perspective, I've got plenty of air space here for this thing to vent. I probably am going to drill a hole in the front of the cabinet just so it's got airflow, but we've got plenty of room for the heat to escape right here. Okay, there's an 8 ohm speaker jack right there, which connects to here. If you want to connect a separate speaker, you can just pull it out. And uh, I built this for, uh, for a friend, so uh, I know it's going to get some good use. So um, I think this kind of wraps up the goat amp. I don't need to show you anymore. You know how to finish things. So, uh, so that's going to be uh, going to be the story on this one. So we'll go back to our our Crossley radio now and, and get that thing working. All right. There you go, Bill. Nice little uh, flea market find. I think you got this at Jewett City, if I remember. So uh, good stuff. Take care, folks.